Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 51 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, so we're almost halfway there. If you've been going through these videos so far, we've got to 51 days to go. You're doing fantastically well. Keep up the hard work. Today we're going to be focusing on the sign rule. We're going to be looking at trigonometry for triangles that aren't necessarily right angle triangles. And if you've got the revision card, card number 85 is going to be a useful one for you. But the sign rule is really useful, particularly when you've got sides and angles opposite each other. So if you've got a side and an angle opposite it, and then you're trying to either find, if you've got another side and angle opposite, where you're maybe trying to find the side or find the angle, then the sign rule is really useful for you. And in this video, I'll talk about that in a bit more detail. So in this video, I'm going to go through the sign rule. There'll be questions for you to try. So remember to pause the video to try those questions. And let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at the sign rule. So we've looked at basic trigonometry. So that's soccer tour or two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp. Now we're going to look at the sign rule. So the sign rule is A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Where little a is the side and capital A is the angle opposite it. Where B is a side and capital B is the angle opposite it. And little c is a side and the capital C is the angle opposite it. And as you can see here, from the diagram here you've got little a and capital a little c and capital c little b and capital b and so on and this is part of the code miles revision card and this sign rule is really useful if you want to find the lengths of sides or angles whenever you're dealing with triangles that aren't right angle triangles so let's use the sign rule and find the sides of the side here x so here we've got a side and the angle opposite it so we've got the 10 over the sine of 85 degrees would be equal to x over the sine of 45 degrees equals x over the sine of 45 degrees. So we've got a side and the angle opposite it and a side and the angle opposite. So here we've got the sine rule 10 over sine 85 equals x over sine 45. Now what we just need to do is to solve this equation. So we can do 10 divided by sine 85 and see what we get. So let's do that to begin with. So that's equal to 10.03819838 and so on. And that's equal to, so we've just worked out 10 divided by the sine of 85. So that's equal to x divided by the sine of 45 degrees. Now we want to get x on its own, so we want to find out what x is. So we don't want this divide by sine 45 on the right hand side. So we're going to multiply both sides by sine 45. So we're going to multiply the left hand side by sine 45. And we're going to multiply the right hand side by the sine of 45. So when we multiply 10.038 and so on by sine 45, let's see what we get. So multiply by the sine of 45. So we get that's equal to 7.09807814. And on the right hand side, we had x divided by the sine of 45. We multiply by the sine of 45 to get rid of that, so we just left with x. So we've got the x is equal to 7.09807 and so on. And let's just round that, and I'm going to round it to one decimal place. That'll be 7.1 centimeters to one decimal place. And that's it. We'll find the length of that side, and we use the sine rule. Okay, so we've had a look at one question. Now this is one for you to try. So press pause now and work out the length of this side here, x. Okay, so we want to find the length of this side here, x. Now, the great thing with this question is we've got the length of a side and the angle opposite it, the 22. So we've got the a over sine a equals b over sine b. So we've got our sine rule, where little a is the length of a side and little b is the length of a side. And we've got capital A and capital B being the angles opposite them. So we've got a over sine a, so that's going to be 25 over sine 22. So 25 over sine 22 would be equal to b, which is going to be our x, the side we're trying to find, over the sine of 115, sine of 115. So we've got the length of a side and the sine of the angle opposite it, and we've got the length of a side and the sine of the angle opposite it. Now we just need to work this out, so let's work out the left-hand side, and that's equal to 66.73667906. So we worked out our left-hand side, and that's still equal to x divided by the sine of 115. We don't want this divided by the sine of 115, so we're going to multiply both sides by the sine of 115. So we're going to multiply the left-hand side by the sine of 115, and we're going to multiply the right-hand side by the sine of 115. So multiplying the left-hand side by the sine of 115 would give us, would be equal to 60.48397192 and so on. And on the right-hand side, we had x divided by the sine of 115. We're multiplying by the sine of 115 to get rid of it, so we're just left with x. So that's it, we'll find the length of this side. This side would be 60.484 millimeters to three decimal places. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Now, this time we've been asked to find the size of this angle here, Vita. So we can use the sine rule to find the lengths of sides by using a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. Now, whenever I find the size of angles, I tend to flip this over. So instead of writing a over sine a, I write sine a over little a equals sine b over little b equals sine c over little c. So we'll find the reciprocals. So we've got capital A. Well, let's let A be Vita. So we've got the sine of Vita over 16, the length of the side opposite. So the sine of Vita 
over 16 will be equal to, and then we've got B, well, that's going to be our angle, 80 degrees, and then little b will be the size, length of the side opposite, which is our 40 centimeters. So we've got sine 80 over 40. So we've substituted in the lengths of the sides and the angles here. We've got sine vita over 16 equals sine 80 over 40. Now we can work out this right-hand side. We can do sine 80 and then divide by 40. Now whenever you're doing the sine of 80 divided by 40, make sure that if brackets do open up in your calculator, you close your brackets or that you type it as a fraction. So you get the sine of vita over 16 is equal to 0.024 six two zero one nine three eight three and so on so we've worked out this right hand side now we don't want this to divide by 16 so we're going to multiply by 16 and multiply by 16 and on our left hand side we get the sine of vita because we've just got rid of the divide by 16 by multiplying by 16 and on the right hand side when we multiply by 16 we get 0 0.393923 fantastic now that's the sign of that angle we want to find the size of the angle so we're going to do the inverse sign the inverse sign of 0 0.393923 and when we do it on our calculator and press shift sign and then our answer we get that's equal to vita would be equal to 23.1 1988 and so on degrees and let's just round that let's round it to three decimal places so that'll be 23.199 degrees to three decimal places so we find the size of that angle fantastic okay let's have a look at our next question so again this time we've got a triangle it's not a right angle triangle we want to find the size of this angle so i want you to press pause now and use the sign rule to find the size of this angle Okay, so because we found the size of an angle, we're going to write sine A over little a equals sine B over little b. I remember that capital A and little a are the angle and the side opposite each other, and capital B and little b are this, the angle and the side opposite each other. So sine A, so sine, and we're trying to find vita, so let's do the sine of vita, over, and then the side opposite it would be our five centimeters, will be equal to, and then we've got sine b over little b, so it's going to be sine b, so it's going to, so that's the sine of 75 degrees over the side opposite it, which would be eight. So now we can work out our right-hand side here. So we've got the sine of vita over 5 would be equal to, and just working this out would be 0 0.12074273. So we've just worked this out. Now we've got sine vita divided by 5. We don't want to divide by 5, so let's multiply by 5 and multiply by 5. So we get the sine of vita equals, and timesing this by 5 would be... 0 0.6037036414 and so on. Now that's the sign of that angle. We want to find the size of the angle, so we need to do the inverse sign. So we're going to do the inverse sign of 0 0.6037036414. That's on my calculator display, so I can just press shift and then sign and then answer and press equals. And that's equal to 37.1356144 and so on degrees. And let's just round that. Let's round it to three decimal places. So be 37.136 degrees the three decimal places and that's it we found the size of that angle and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at one last question so let's have a look at our questions so we're told that Donhampton is 48 kilometers from Castletown so we've got Donhampton here and Castletown here so it's 48 kilometers from Castletown Donhampton's 48 kilometers from Castletown on a bearing of 0, 050 degrees so we've got our north line here at Castletown and we're told that Donhampton is 48 kilometers from Castletown on a bearing of 0, 050 degrees so the bearing is 0, 050 degrees so the angle between that line and the north line will be 50 degrees so that's 50 degrees in there zero five zero and Eastville is on a bearing of zero seven five degrees from Castletown so the angle between that line and the north line is 75 degrees so if the whole angle is 75 degrees there that means that this extra part here will be 25 degrees this extra part here is 25 degrees because the bearing is zero seven five degrees that means that the line joining are Eastville and Castletown the angle between it and the north line would be 75 degrees because because this is 50 the extra bit would have to be 25 so that's the first bit of the sentence and also Eastville is on a bearing of 150 degrees from Donhampton so if we do our north line at Donhampton the bearing of Eastville from Donhampton is 150 degrees so this angle is 150 degrees like so and we've been asked to calculate the distance of Eastville from Castletown so we want to find the size of this line here we want to find that distance between Castletown and Eastville so here we've got a triangle we've got the size of an angle which here this angle is 25 degrees inside of the triangle we're told that this length is 48 kilometers now what would be great is if we could find the size of one of the other angles now the great thing is here we've got our north lines and if you think back to our parallel lines whenever you get two parallel lines we've got things such as alternate angles correspondent angles and in this case we've got co-interior angles because we've got a north 
north line, another north line. So this angle and this angle up here will add together to be 180 degrees. So if this angle is 50 degrees, this angle at the top here would have to be 130 degrees because they add together to be 180 degrees. Now if we focus here at the top here, we've got 130 plus 150, that's 280. And if we take that away from 360, so 360 subtract 280 is equal to 80 degrees. So it means that this angle up here, this angle is 80 degrees. Now if we have a look at our triangle CDE, we've got two angles we've got the length of one of the sides and we will find the length of this one now the 48 kilometers is here it'd be great if we knew the size of this angle and actually the great thing is the angles in a triangle add up together to be 180 degrees so if we add 25 degrees and 80 degrees so 80 plus 25 is equal to 105 degrees so 180 take away 105 is equal to 75 degrees so that means that this angle here is 75 degrees so we've got all three angles in that triangle fantastic so we're now going to use the sine rule and we're trying to find the length of the side so i'm going to use a over sine sine A equals B over sine B. And we're going to substitute in our values. So remember, little a and capital A is the length of a side and the size of the angle opposite each other. And likewise, with little b and capital B, the length of a side and the size of the angle opposite it. So in terms of our x, what we're trying to find, that's going to be x over the sine of 80 degrees, because that's opposite it, the sine of 80 degrees, is equal to, now we've got our 48 kilometers, so that's going to be equal to 48 over the sine of 75 degrees, because that's the size of the angle opposite it. So in this question, we had to find the size of the other angle by taking away from 180 to get that 75 degrees. Now we can just work this out. If we work at our right hand side here, 48 divided by sine 75, 48 divided by the sine of 75, we get that x over sine 80 is equal to 49.69325666 and so on. Now we want to find out what x is, so we don't want this to divide by sine 80, so we're going to multiply the left hand side by sine 80, and we're going to multiply the right hand side by sine 80, and let's see what we get. So our left hand side would just be x, and then our right hand side, if we multiply by the sine of 80, that's equal to x equal to 48.9383 and so on kilometers. And let's just run that to two decimal places, that'd be 48.94 kilometers to two decimal places, and that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the sine rule. I really like the sine rule. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. And I use that version whenever I'm trying to find the length of sides. And if I'm trying to find the size of an angle, I would tend to use sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. And that's the version I would use if I was trying to find the size of an angle. But I really hope you found this video useful. There's 51 days to go, so you're almost halfway there. Keep up the hard work. Keep working hard on your lessons, any revision sessions. Keep going on with these videos and try and get yourself all the way down to zero days to go. But keep up with the hard work and all that harder work will pay off. So I'll see you tomorrow for 50 days ago, halfway tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.